Kia koutou, no mai hoki mai, welcome back to UniQuest. My name is Chris Hudiwai and today we're doing street level two. I'm gonna teach you how to half rev, how to jump up a curb, and I'm gonna teach you what's called the roll flip mount. And if you haven't already, check out street level one. I'll leave a link to that video down in the description below. And with that said, a hi de tato, let's get going. So first thing we're gonna be looking at today is the half rev. There's two ways to do a half rev, riding fast and just popping into the air like that or really consciously pushing down on that front foot to create that half rev. The half rev is a really easy trick and often people add the half rev to their regular bunny hop without even realizing. So the first thing I want you to do is observe your own bunny hop. Make sure that when you hop, your dominant foot stays in the front. There's no switching of your front foot from the right foot to the left foot during the hop. Everything stays nice and stable. If you're not able to do a bunny hop without adding that half rev, go back to the previous levels and master the bunny hop first. I'll leave the video link down in the description below. So the normal technique for a bunny hop is to have your legs straight like this, cranks nice and flat, legs straight. But now for a half rev, what we're gonna do is add extra pressure onto that front foot and try and relax with that back foot, allowing that half rev to tick over, like this. So make sure you grab the seat nice and firm, just like a regular bunny hop, but we're gonna push down on that front foot. And just be aware you're gonna land and switch with the opposite foot in the front. Might feel a bit weird at the start, don't worry about it, you'll get used to it. If getting the full half rev is too difficult, too much to wrap your head around, just try to do a little quarter like that, just a little bit of a rev, and slowly work from there. If you are practicing quarter revs as a warm up for the half rev, just keep in mind it's really not a good idea to build up a habit of landing with your cranks vertical. You really wanna keep that horizontal alignment. So try not to do too many quarter revs, just use it as a tool to wrap your head around doing a half rev. Thinking about consciously adding pressure to that front foot, relaxing the back foot, timing it all up together can get very confusing. The main way that I see a lot of people learning this trick is to just ride as fast as you can, bunny hop, and try and relax, naturally let that forward momentum create that half rev instead of you having to consciously do it yourself. So just ride fast, ride fast, pop into the air and try and relax, continue pedaling, just like that. If you're still struggling, grab onto your assistance. This really helps if you are struggling to wrap your head around this whole adding pressure to the front foot, relaxing the back foot. Create the pressure for the bunny hop with that foot. You're just gonna push down as hard as you can on that front foot, relax with the back, grab on tight with your assistance, grab on tight onto the handle, and not much else can possibly happen besides a complete half rev. Just like that. A trick that really displays the importance of focusing on that front foot, and I see a lot of beginners doing this trick, is half rev one footers. It really just perfectly shows all you need to do to complete this trick is to release that back foot to allow it to come forward to complete that half rev. Next up we're going to do bunny hop up a curb. So hopefully you've mastered all of the tips in the previous episode, rolling hop down a curb, because a lot of those tips are going to be useful right here. If you want to build your confidence before trying an actual curb, try find something a little bit smaller. It doesn't matter what it is. I found a little piece of wood right here and it's going to be perfect for someone's first ever bunny hop. So there's a few different ways to do this. You can do it rolling, riding directly into it, then bunny hopping, just like that. Or you can do it static, starting on the spot, bunny hopping on the spot like this next to the obstacle, and then up. And then the two main differences would be jumping sideways like this, versus jumping forwards like this. For your first bunny hop, I definitely recommend jumping up sideways like this. You'll find that when you jump forwards like this, to comfortably get onto the obstacle, you actually have to cover quite a bit of extra distance in comparison to if you're jumping sideways like this. A lot easier to comfortably get your tire onto the obstacle so if you're a beginner and it's your first time jumping up something, I definitely recommend starting out sideways and then slowly move to jumping forwards a little bit later on. Now what we're gonna focus on is using our pre-hop to get some extra bounce to give us that height to get onto the obstacle. So just like this, I want you to be bunny hopping on the spot like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a hop towards the obstacle and we're gonna use that hop to compress our tire into the ground to give us some spring, like this.
try to get onto the obstacle without using a pre-hop, like this, as that's gonna help with your technique, it's gonna help you to get that height without relying on the bounce. But if you can't get up there, like this, then definitely utilize that bounce to get that extra height, like that. And of course, if you need some extra height, don't be afraid to use two hands. And here's me doing a bunny hop on an obstacle that's a little bit more like the actual height of a curb, just so that you know I can actually do it. There we go. So now using the proper method, bunny hopping not too close to the obstacle. And when I stop bunny hopping, I'm gonna start leaning towards it and I'm gonna push my tire into the ground, get that bounce. Just like that. May as well grind this little rail here. And finally, really important that we get this right from the beginning. Which hand are you gonna use and which direction, okay? So I use my right hand and I jump away from my hand that's holding the seat, okay? I jump towards my free hand, okay? And the way that I like to envision it is with my free hand, I'm kind of like gonna scoop the air to give myself a bigger bunny hop like this. I'm like, scoop like that, okay? Because if I'm jumping towards my hand like this, I'm unable to do that same kind of scooping motion and I kinda, I've kind of got this really awkward jumping stance like this, jumping towards my hand, feels really unnatural and I find you get a lot more distance when you're able to do that whole kind of scooping motion like that. So don't bunny hop towards your hand holding the seat like this. It's possible a lot of riders do use this technique without any trouble but I mean you can do it however you like but I really do recommend you get used to this whole kind of scooping technique. <sighs> You might be struggling with your run up or getting the timing right when it comes to rolling into the obstacle and then preparing yourself to actually try the bunny hop. If you're struggling with that and you really just want to pass this level or you really just want to try jumping onto something, just try mounting next to the obstacle. Don't worry about riding, don't worry about bunny hopping before the jump. Just try get on, free mount, and then directly try jump up. And if you're lucky like me and you have something portable like this, take it next to somewhere where you've got some assistance. Just like that. So now you can easily free mount, easily get on. You don't have to worry about that process just so we can specifically focus on practicing the jump onto the obstacle. You can get off, grab onto your assistance, just like that. Over and over and over. And we'll finish this off with another jump mount variation. This is also a really useful skill to practice as a warm up for crank flips, as well as any kind of foot plant where your unicycle is moving and you're jumping back on. So it's just like this. Use the same hand you use for bunny hops, holding the seat, flip, let it complete the full flip, put the unicycle back on the ground, and then jump mount like you normally would. So we're gonna build from there. Now without putting the unicycle back on the ground, we're gonna do the jump mount. So slowly, really slowly, 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 that flip, and before, before it flips fully around, we're gonna jump on, just like that. Something you can try before that is the walking jump mount like this. Just getting used to adding a little bit of motion, a little bit of something before doing that jump mount. And then you can turn it into walking into the roll flip mount, just like that, really smooth. You don't have to land on the pedals. You can land on the cranks like this. And then just hop on the spot like that if you're comfortable with bunny hops. And it can also be quite scary landing directly on the pedals like that. It can be quite scary. So if you want, don't worry too much about landing on the pedals. Just throw your feet back in there. Cranks, pedals, whatever it is, don't worry. Just land it like that. Just to practice the timing, just follow through with the motion, but don't actually land on the unicycle. Just try and time it so that when you land on the ground, your pedals are landing where you want them to be, like this. Just try and time that so that when you flip the cranks, it's gonna complete a full flip ready for you when you land. Just like that. And now we're gonna try and not so much put the unicycle under us, but allow us to jump forward. So not so much like that, but more like this. 
So here, completing the flip, and we're gonna put our body over the unicycle, like that. If you're still struggling with this one, go back to beginner level four and study the basics of a jump mount. I'll leave the video down in the description below. And when you get good at singles, if you wanna try and make things a little bit harder, go for a double. Kanui tera, that's heaps. If you've enjoyed this episode, leave some feedback down below. And if you've really enjoyed this episode, consider joining us on Patreon. You can get early access to episode as well as bonus content. As always, thank you so much for watching. Matiwa etiui. I'll see you in the next episode. Kia tau te rangi marie. Peace.